Okay, welcome to another science fiction video. Now, in this video, we'll be looking at something called the mole in chemistry. Now, for some people, this is quite a difficult concept. So, if at any point you're not sure, stop, pause the video, go back, make sure, please, you understand as we go through it. Okay, so the mole in chemistry. Now, the mole. Here's the mole. Now, the mole is a very short-sighted animal. Lives underground. Very powerful forelegs. Is this what we're talking about? Nope. Now the mole is also a measure used widely in chemistry. So the mole, as well as being a little furry mammal, is also a measure we use in chemistry. What's it all about? Well, one mole is the relative formula mass. Now I want to abbreviate that to MR, so I can't be really bothered to keep writing it out, of a compound, or relative atomic mass, again, AR, of an element expressed in grams. Remember we can find this from the periodic table and you find this by adding together the relative atomic masses in a compound. So, let's look at an example, shall we? For example, the relative atomic mass of carbon is 12. Where's this number come from? Well, it's come from the periodic table. Look it up. And so, the mass of one mole of carbon, all we do, we put a G behind it. It's 12 grams. As Molly says, how simple is that? That is very simple. Put a G, that's all. Okay, another example. What's the mass of one mole of lead? Again, go to your periodic table and look at the atomic mass of lead and you'll find it's 207. So, the mass of one mole of lead is 207 grams. Wow, even I can do that bit. Okay, Moly says, don't panic at this point because here we're going to try and get a little bit more clever and calculate the mass of moles from relative formula mass. Now this is what you do when you've got a compound. That is, several elements joined together. It isn't difficult, so don't panic. For example, the, f the relative formula mass of sodium hydroxide, let's work it out from the periodic table. Sodium has got atomic mass 23, oxygen is 16, hydrogen is 1. Where do these figures come from? Your periodic table. Add them together, it's 40. So, the mass of one mole of sodium hydroxide, can you guess what it is? Yes, you got it. You're going to put a G there. So, the mass of one mole of sodium hydroxide is 40 grams. Let's look at an example. What's the mass of one mole of calcium carbonate? Now, you've got some of the formula for these things. If you don't know, look it up. Calcium carbonate is CaCO3. Now, from your periodic table, calcium is 40. Carbon's 12. Now, oxygen's 16, but as there's three of them, 16 times 3 is 48. Um, <laughs> excuse me. And this all up comes to 100. So to work out one mole of calcium carbonate, you right, put a G there. Now, look at that. Now, Modi says this isn't rocket science, it's quite true. Okay, it is that simple. But with all things, we need to progress a bit further. So, let's move on. Now here, take it steady. Take it one step at a time and don't try racing ahead. We need an equation here. Now, the number of moles is given by the mass you've used divided by the relative formula mass. Okay, let's look at an example here. How many moles are there in 20 grams of sodium hydroxide? What do we need to know? We need to know the mass used, 20. The relative formula mass of this we work out from the periodic table. So number of moles is 20, which is the mass used. 40 is, so my drops, I remember, is 23 plus 1 um, plus 16 makes 40. So 20 divided by 40 is 0 0.5. So in 20 grams of my oxide, there are 0 0.5 moles. Oh dear, this is going to be hard, isn't it? We could even rearrange the equation. Here's two rearrangements. So go back, number of moles is mass used over formula mass. Okay, there we go. Mass used is number of moles times the relative formula mass. Mass used is number of moles times relative formula mass. So it depends what you're looking for. If you're asked to calculate number of moles, use this equation. If you're asked to calculate mass used, use this equation. For example, what's the mass of two moles of calcium carbonate? Now, what are we asked to find out here? The mass. So which equation we use? This one. Okay, the mass. What do we know? Number of moles is 2. Formula mass of calcium carbonate, we work it out from the periodic table. 
So mass uses two. There's the two, 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 no moles, times a hundred, which is the relative full of mass car calcium carbonate. Two times hundred is two hundred grams. Okay, that is very, very straightforward. Hopefully by now you've got the grips of this. If not, go back through it. When you really think you've done it, you can tick off mole. You can say, thank you very much, mole. I've done you. Now I understand it. Right. Thanks for watching. For more free revision videos, go to my website, www.sciencerevisionvideo.com. Okay, and I look forward to speaking to you again very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.